Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris. Today I'm going to show you the big haul of Strange Academy books I picked up this past week. There's a good stack of them. Let's uh, let's start with this one. It's Strange Academy number one. This is the third printing. This is the Unknown Comics edition. That up. CGC 9.8. I'm picking up a bunch of these uh, second, third, fourth, fifth printings of these issues. Big fan of Strange Academy. Next up is Strange Academy number one. This is the fourth printing and it's the Unknown Comics Edition. This is the Virgin Edition for this one. There's the front. Very cool. There's the back. Very neat. And next up is one of my favorite, uh, favorite covers in the whole run. This is Strange Academy number two. This is the Variant Edition and it features Doyle, Dormammu. Big fan of Doyle. He rode today. What happens when you have the uh, back porch studio going on? You never know what's going to come by. What animal or bird's going to make a noise? Very cool. Really like this cover. One of my favorites in the in the whole Strange Academy run. Uh, next up is Strange Academy number two. This is the third printing. Interesting. Got a bad bag. <laughs> Thought it was something wrong with the with the case. It's actually just kind of a bad bag, but that's okay. There's the front, and there is the back. And this one's the third printing. This is the Virgin uh, cover of that one uh, of issue number two, the third printing. Let's put those side by side so you can take a look. Pretty cool. Sorry about the glare. Not much difference, just uh, missing the trade dress. Some of these I really like, some of these I don't. It just seems like there's a lot of empty blank space there for whatever reason. But everybody's just a little bit different. Again, that's the Unknown Comics Edition. Uh, and next up, we've got Strange Academy number two. This is the fourth printing. This is the Virgin variant. Uh, also the Unknown Comics edition. You can really get lost in these uh, modern variant comics. Really get lost. You can just go down a rabbit hole and never come back. Um, my original goal for my Strange Academy run was just to get a copy of cover A for Strange Academy and Strange Academy Finals. And then I'm like, you know, let's let's work on some of the printings and some of the covers that I really, really like. I'm not a huge Scotty Young fan. I'm not a huge Peach Momoko fan. So, um, you know, I decided not to get any of those, but I do have some of them just raw. I probably won't get them graded. Um, and this is Strange Academy number 12. This is the A cover. Nice little A cover edition adding to the collection. Almost done with Strange Academy A covers. I've got uh, number nine coming in the mail, and then I'll just need number 10 and 11 to finish off the A cover run for Strange Academy, and then need Strange Academy Finals two and five in, uh, in the A cover to finish the Strange Academy Finals run. So we're getting really, really close. Um, four, four issues to go. Then I picked this up. I thought I got this at a super great price. You know, I, if I can get a graded book for under case costs and everyone's definition of case costs is different to get a comic graded by CGC, a modern comic, uh, it's $24. Plus you spend, what was it, $4.99 for the book? $3.99. So it's uh, 28 bucks, and it costs you about $10 to ship it down to Sarasota. So that's $48. And then it costs you about 20 bucks to get it back. Uh, so that's 58 bucks. So if you can get uh, a CGC modern book, 60 bucks or less, 
you're paying basically case cost uh, for the book. That's the way I approach it. So if I can get a book below 60 bucks and it's graded, I feel like I've done really, really well. Um, in this case, I got this just over grading cost. Uh, I think I spent less than 30 bucks for this, including shipping. Um, it's Strange Academy Finals number one. This is the Riley variant cover. Um, it was so affordable that I almost couldn't pass it up. When you're getting it way below uh, what I consider to be case cost for a modern book, um, you know, if you've got the cash, well, it might as well. Probably won't keep its value. Um, modern comic variants, some of them just don't don't keep their value. But as a collector, it's kind of fun to have some of these books, especially the ones that you like. I always say, collect what you love. Um, people say that your love can change, and that's fine. Just go ahead and sell them. If you take a loss, you take a loss. You know, you just always collect what you love to collect. It makes you happy, even if it's for a short amount of time. There's really, really nothing wrong with that. Um, speculators will say, Chris, you're wasting your money. You should just put all those monies into a nice uh, Silver Age Spidey key or something like that. And, you know, that's a it's good advice. Um, but uh, when I like a run, I'm a, I'm a run kind of guy. So I'm not one of those guys that goes out and just buys a lot of the um, a lot of the keys, although I do that as well. But uh, I'm more of a run guy. It's what I grew up on, going to the comic store uh, every week and, and getting uh, my favorite book. Um, so that's what I... Kind of what I like to do. Everybody's different, so you know. Try not to judge other collectors on how they do, uh, how they collect, and how they um, they manage their collection. That's it, guys. This week, bunch of Strange Academy books. Appreciate you guys joining me. Hope you're staying safe. We'll talk to you again next time. Bye.